Hello guys, this is Nikki Blue, and I just wanted to give you guys an update. First update is I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Very much alive. And I have just been taking care of myself physically and mentally. And it's almost fall, which is ironically my favorite time of the year. I do like cold weather. I am still going through some medical issues, but I'm still alive, so that's a good thing. I have finally accepted what my old friends said were fake people, like famous people. And famous people to famous people are not fake. They're just like the same other but when you're a normal person or what I'd like to call a loser like me they are fake because there is no way in any way shape or form or universe they'll ever talk to me ever so I don't even try anymore because they're fake to me but famous people to famous people are not fake to each other because they're real to each other because let's face it they're both famous so I have accepted that fact. I don't really do social media much anymore because it just is like a dead end for me. It doesn't really do anything and I just accepted the fact that no matter what I do, what I say, what I look like, I can't be an influencer. I can't really help people because I mean there's just nothing about me that is what I would say influenceable. I mean some good things is I am still doing good on parole. I'm still sober, haven't touched anything and I've just been focusing on living and not spending a lot of time on social media. But I wanted to make this update because I know a lot of you guys are like, is she okay? Yes, I'm okay. Will I ever return like I was? Probably not. I don't really see myself returning just because I feel like everything I say doesn't do anything. You know, everyone's just like, whatever. And it's kind of silly to beat a dead horse. You know, I know that what I say and what I do isn't going to be picked up. People aren't going to listen. They're just like, whatever. So I'm like, whatever. I'm accepting the fact that I'm just a normal person and that that's how it's going to be until I die. Um, I've given up on a lot of my entertainment dreams. I don't really sing as much anymore. I don't dance. I don't really do anything like that just because I know that it's never going to happen. So, in a one sense, I am in a better mind space because I know it's not going to happen. I don't expect it to happen, and I'm not looking forward to it happening. So, I just live life as a normal person. And it's okay. You know, it's kind of silly to have dreams like that when there is no possibility or probability of them happening. You know, like... It was stupid of me thinking, you know, that I could sing or act or dance or even be an influencer because obviously that's impossible. So I'm just facing reality and instead of sulking and being sad about it, I'm just accepting it and being like, hey, I'm okay. It's okay to be normal. It's okay to be a loser. You know, that's just how I was born. And that's my destiny. So it's stupid for me to fight it. It's stupid for me to daydream about it. Because it's not going to happen. So it's silly to wish on a shooting star that's never going to shoot. So what I've been doing is I've just been taking care of my mental health and my physical health. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite, even though I really suck at it. I did win a crown this morning, but I think it's because the guy got stuck in a storm. Dumb luck. Um, I also still play Second Life, and I'm enjoying myself there in London. And um, that's about it. 
you know, that's like my hobby. Since it's getting cooler weather, I'm going to start hiking more because I love cooler weather. And I just am being me, you know, I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I'm not focusing on trying to make it on YouTube or TikTok because let's face it, that ain't going to happen. And I'm just realizing, hey, I'm just a normal girl. And I'm never going to be anything more than that. I actually consider myself more of a loser because I lose more than I win. But, you know, it it does make you kind of depressed if you constantly call yourself a loser. So I just try to call myself normal. Um, and I've just been following the rules and doing good and trying to be as happy and bubbly as I can be. And just focusing on reality. And reality is I'm just a person that has a very bad reputation and very bad past. And I'm never going to be able to live up to that. I'm never going to be able to change it. And I'm never going to get past it. So it's kind of silly to try to be too good because the bad is always going to rule over it, you know. So I'm just you know, sticking away from social media because, um, I don't know, it kind of bores me now, and if I do use any social media, it's Instagram, and I basically just, um, follow, um, sexy people, and I'm just like, man, they're living the life that I will never, ever live, <laughs> because they're rich and famous, and I'm poor, and not famous but it's okay you know to me I see them kind of like royalty like um queens and kings and princesses uh just they're in a total another world compared to what world I live in and I know no matter what I do what I say I can never go into that world so just like my old friends said that people that I was talking to were fake you know they're right Dr. Phil's fake, Elon Musk's fake, Sabrina Carpenter's fake, because to me, I'm never going to see them or talk to them or meet them, so to me, they're in another dimension or space, whatever you want to call it. For people that are like them, they're real, though. You know, like famous people to famous people, they're real because they're both famous and they talk to each other. But when you're a peasant, which I kind of consider myself that, the likelihood of ever talking to them or seeing them or anything is like, I almost want to say 0%, but um, that's just how I live my life now. I don't worship them because you're not supposed to worship people um, except for God. And um, I just look at them as like they are Hollywood stars, something that I can never experience or understand so I don't really hate any of them and I'm not really jealous of them because I know that there's no point in it because we're just born who we are and what we do and I happen to be born on the short end of the stick and that's just what card I was dealt you know I'll never be pretty enough to be an influencer or whatever and it was stupid for me to even try to become one. I had a daydream when I first started posting. I was like, this is cool. It'd be so cool to do this as a job. But I didn't realize how impossible it is to actually become one. And I've given up. And But I'm not crying about it. I'm not cussing about it. I'm just moving on. And just living a normal life. But um, that's all I got to say. I'm still alive. And this is just an update to keep my accounts um, updated and from going inactive. So, but I love you guys. If you're still a fan, that's cool. Just know that this is just a hey, I'm okay video. So, I love you guys. And, um, peace out. And, um, have a good Halloween. It's close to Halloween. Go scare yourself. <laughs> Anyway, adios. Bye.